Now that we've launched a WizIQ session, let's take a little time going through all the different features, tools, and other things you're going to want to use. We're going to start over here on the right side of the panel. As you can see, there's my video right there. And above are the settings for my uh, display. So there's I can turn the video on and off. So I'm going to shut the video off for a second. And notice I have this little pop-up window that gives me some other things to say, hey, if I want to start broadcasting again. It has this floating window here that um, can I can control. And that may come in handy, especially if you want to have student video over here. And we're going to take a look at that as well. So I'm just going to hit hide here. I also have audio control. Uh, I can broadcast or just mute it. And then I have um, writing control, which means I do have writing control. Now, if you hit the little drop down here, this is another way to get this menu to pop up. And if for some reason things aren't working, you might want to go into device settings. And under device settings, you can test your microphone, make sure it's selecting, uh, like I'm using my internal mic here on my laptop. If you have a headset or USB, you might have to make sure you find the correct input. Also the webcam, if you have um, one that's plugged in, I'm using the built-in one here. And then you can test your speakers with uh, volume. And if you change anything, you can hit Save Settings. And I'm just going to hit Cancel or X just to come out of here. And I'm also going to hide this again. So there's your controls right there. If you look down here, you see the attendees list. And right now, there's no attendee. So I'm actually going to go ahead and enter uh, on another computer here, even though I'm going to be on both. So you'll see what it looks like when a student enters the class. As you can see now, I've logged in as a student on another computer. This would obviously be the name of your students that come in. And this can handle, um, I think, maybe even up to 500 people at once. Obviously, that would be a lot to handle. But if you're just broadcasting something, that does work. And I think the default is set to be 50 for that can be in at once. But you'll see the list of folks here. And I don't know if you can see how I did that. I just grabbed that and moved that up and down. If you want to change the size of the list in case there's more people that show up. And beside each name, you see this little button for their webcam, their audio, and then their writing controls. So if I click uh, the writing controls, I can allow them to actually use all the other buttons over here or to write on the whiteboards. And this is if I want to have their audio or video. Right now, these are X'd out because I've disabled them over on this machine. But if they do have those capabilities, you can turn those on there. By default, they are off, and usually students will chat um, that they want them to be turned on. Most of the time, students don't want to chat or have their video, but if that's necessary for maybe even a presentation or you want to actually talk to them directly, those capabilities exist right there. You can also do it by clicking on their name and then going Show Options, and then you can uh, do those things as well. So there's a, there's a pop-up menu here that happens. Now notice it actually pulled this whole list out. And I'm going to go ahead and just hit this pop in. So and if I hit, um, and if I click on like the show options, it pops it out. I hit this arrow, it pops it back in. Um, you can also minimize this. I'm going to hit the minimize button. And notice it pulls it all the way down here. And honestly, you can put the attendees list can float anywhere. So these menus, including the camera and the chat, can be floating anywhere. And if you want them to put back where they were, just click that pop in and it, and it does that. So that's where your students will be listed. That's where you can have individual or controls. And you can check box if you want to do a bunch at once. Um, usually I just allow them all writing control unless things start getting moved around too much to allow them to upload content and do other things on the screen here. Now here's the chat feature. And if I if my student chats, I'm gonna go ahead and chat a message, and I'll say, uh, "Hi, Dan." Chatting that to myself, it shows up in the stream here, and you can see who did it. And I'll say, "Hello, back," and I type it right down in that box there, and hit send. And so there's where you can see the conversation going. If you want to disable, you can disable the chat for everybody. Um, and then again, you can actually, at the end of the session, if there's a bunch of chatting that you want to keep, you can actually copy and paste this chat into a Word document. 
So disable disables everybody's ability to chat. And then um, copy can put in a document. Again, we have a minimize, which pulls this thing out, puts it over here. If I click on it, pulls it up. So I can move the chat box wherever I want if I want to get more space over here for some reason. And if I hit the pop in button, it throws it back in there. Um, by default, you're actually chatting to everybody that's in the list. So it says all here. But if I want to do a private chat, I can actually click. And what I chat now will just say, uh, hi, student Dan. And that will send a message only to that student. And if I want to go back to all, notice that message did not show up in the stream for chatting to everybody. So you can have private chats to students in case there's something uh, you want them, uh, you want to tell them privately. Um, you can control font size here. If you want to make a bigger font, the color of the font, and you have some uh, emoticons that you can pick if you want to, uh, you know, follow up your chat with. Uh, one of these images. Um, I'm going to go back up here to the video area. See, it's showing this little minimized video. This is me. It says you. If I turn on the video, and I will for the student, so you can kind of see that. So now you're kind of seeing the side of my head since it's over here. This is the student, but I can actually toggle or I can minimize me and um, I can I can dictate if there's more than one student I can pick who's going to be in the screen and uh, people on the other end can kind of dictate that as well but you can hide yours or maximize yours and um, if I click um, again if I want to just kind of click the settings or this little drop down then I could actually see my video and the students video if for some reason I want to be on there too but uh, most of the time I hide mine because I don't really need to be on there and sometimes I just don't even broadcast my video the whole time because I <laughs> just don't want to be on there the whole time and you don't need to be on there but um, I think students do enjoy uh, at least seeing who's on the other end and the video does make it a little more personal so I'm going to go ahead and hide there and there's me and there's the students video so you can actually see the student and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut that off over here so we, uh, we have the chat feature here, and you can actually, again, move that up and down. If I want a little more room for the chat, uh, you can type up the 300 characters, so you can move this up and down. You can change the size of this window. You can pop them out, pop them in, um, and then you can disable private chat. So on this right side of the screen, this is kind of all the audio-visual controls uh, for you and your students and also has a control of what writing they can do for the other tools which we'll do in our next video.